there's glitter everywhere. I look like I just like went to a strip club last night. I know what you're gonna say. My hair has never looked better than it does right now. Hey guys, well, what's up? Um, <laughs> My hair looks the way that it does because I am doing a treatment on it. And I was like, I need, I there's not enough time in today. So I need to make today my bitch and just do two things at once. So this is what's happening with my hair right now. I also have an excessive amount of glitter left on my face because I wore glitter yesterday and glitter is the herpes of the craft and makeup world as we all know. This is bugging me. This is super bugging me. Maybe I'm just gonna have to deal with it being down. Cute. Okay. Hope you guys are doing amazing. Today I'm gonna be sharing my brand new secret as of a couple days ago. I have, feel like I've mastered foundation, concealer, setting powder, primer, and mascara, which are very key staples of a makeup look. And I am hard to impress when it comes to like, just new makeup products in general, because I get sent so many and so many are replications or have been done before. So when there is a product that like stops me in my tracks and I'm just like, dang, that looks good. I, I'm like, I gotta give it some attention and 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 make it like my new routine. So I, with that being said, I have found some products that work so magnificently together that is definitely my new foundation and base routine for sure. So hopefully, I'm gonna share with you guys the products that I've been using that um, the past few days that I've been absolutely so impressed by and how they look on my skin. It's great. I hope it works for you too. Everyone's skin is completely different, so what's gonna work for me really well may not work for you. So don't hate me if you go out and get this stuff or you have it and you try it and you're like, oh, my skin doesn't look nice. Like everyone's skin's different. So hopefully, you know, it works out for you. I have a combination skin as well. So it's kind of not really oily ever, but certain foundations and things like that can make my skin a little oily in my T-zone if I leave it on for too long. And that gets, that brings me to my second point. So after I put this foundation on for the first time and the primer, instead of everything I just said, I was filming a video and after I was like, dude, my foundation looks so good right now. And my base, like the base just looks really good. There's no texture and my skin is like not in the best shape it's ever been in. And like, I have a breakout here. What is that? I don't even know. I don't even know what that is. I have some breakout, some texture on my cheeks right now. I got off this acne medication that I had been on for like five years recently. So there's a little bit more texture to my skin than usual. And Aunt Flo is coming next week. So there's that. She's always a bitch. So after I did my makeup, I kept like snagging looks at myself in the mirror when I would walk by or like when I'd pull a mirror up or whatever. Near a mirror, I'd be like, your skin looks really good. And I just kept thinking to myself, wow, like I'm really impressed. Like this looks really good. And then there was zero creasing underneath my eyes and zero mascara transfer. And this was still like this six hours into wearing all of this. And so, by 11 p.m. that night, after filming and stuff, I was just like, honestly, like I feel like this is my favorite new combination of like core makeup products right now. Oh yeah, and then I also like took the clips from my card onto my computer and I was like looking at the clips and I was like, my skin looks so good. Like everything looks so good. Like I've got to share this. So I'm going to share my secret new products with you guys. I just put on fake tanner and like, I'm sweating so much in this plastic chair right now that I'm pretty sure the back of my legs is going to be completely white as white AF. And then the front's going to be tanned. It's going to be a really not a good look. Product number one, um, I do have a clean and moisturized face right now. So product number one that I'm going to go into that I've been using and I don't know I mean, I know I love this product, but I don't know if it has anything to do with the fact that I am loving the way the other products are working on my skin, but I'm not gonna change anything because like, why change a good thing? Like when you've got a good thing, why fuck it up? Why change it? It's gonna stay. So this is the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Um, I think this thing's kind of silly. I don't use that. I just, so I just take a little bit of this. It's got a really nice silky silk texture. And I like to just kind of put that right where my pores are extra large, which is usually here, here, 
right in this area is my least favorite, right there on both sides. This feels so cooling and nice too. What is up with this pimple? Like get off my face. I'm so like you overstayed your welcome like so much. Get out. And about right here, it smells. Mmm, it smells so good too. I also wanted to tell you guys, like if you didn't know, you're gonna know now, but I have a pet YouTube channel where I like to make videos with my pets and I would love if you would check it out because if you love animals, like why wouldn't you? So if you didn't know that I had a pet channel, now you do. Go ahead, subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you know when I upload new videos of my fur babies. I've been doing a lot of animal rescuing lately too. Um, one of my rescue, my new rescues is coming tomorrow. Um, you might have seen a picture of her in a trash can online. That's her, she'll be here tomorrow. I'll be, or I think it's a he actually. So typically I do my concealer around, like on my upper eye area, and then I go in and do my foundation because I do my concealer on my eyes and I do my eye makeup, and then I go back and do my foundation. Well today, I'm doing a really light eye makeup look, so I'm just gonna do the whole damn thing and call it good. This is my new favorite foundation, and it is a very, like I would say it's a pretty matte foundation, but not a chalky dry matte. Like I feel like even if you have dry skin, as long as you moisturize properly before you put it on, then, and, and use the primer, I feel like you'll be fine. So this is the new ColourPop No Filter Foundation. I didn't have high hopes for this. And then I put it on, I was like, <gasps> shut the front door. Like your skin looks so bomb. So I'm gonna do a little cocktail of both of these because my skin is, I don't know, I don't know. Is this even gonna be the right shade? I'm not really too sure actually. I have like, my tan is developing right now. So I really have no idea. Like my skin is gonna be a different color in about eight hours. So maybe this foundation will match me in eight hours. Who knows? I just like love the coverage of this foundation. I think the coverage is awesome and it, just like goes on really well and it dries down pretty quickly, nice and matte. But I honestly didn't have high hopes for this foundation. I was like, oh, okay, it's like really, you know, not not to knock on ColourPop product, ColourPop products. I love a lot of ColourPop products, don't get me wrong. But I was just kind of like, how can you make a good foundation this cheap? You know, I don't know, so we'll see. And then I put it on and I was just like, <laughs> The coverage is awesome on this. It's definitely like buildable too. Like I know a couple areas of my face, I put on like a few extra layers. Um, I've been putting this over my eyebrow area since I've been tanning so much. I'm like doing my makeup and then my foundation's done and all my makeup's done. I realize like right under my eyebrow is still like so white. I would say this is like a medium to full coverage too. And I say medium because through some of it, you can still see a little bit of my skin like discoloration. So that's why sometimes I'm like, I'm like doubling it up or whatever, but the coverage is pretty damn good. But as you can see, it's already kind of matte, matted down. And I just love that. Like I've been, I've been using the Empower, Tarte Hybrid Empower Gel Foundation for such a long time. And lately I've just been feeling that it's like, just, it's so like wet looking, even when I'm putting powder on. And I just feel like weird putting powder on when it still seems so not like dry. And I still love that foundation, but sometimes you just gotta change it up. I don't wanna disturb my, like the tanner that's working down here. So I, I'm totally aware that it doesn't match, but I promise you once my tan sets and is whatever, this, this was the one that I was the other day and it matched perfectly. So I'm just gonna have to like pretty much go out in public with a turtleneck on until my tan like gets itself situated and it's the same shade. Now this next product is, I wanna make sure I got this blended down. Um, this next product is concealer and it is also by ColourPop and this is the un no filter concealer. And this concealer, I honestly like wasn't super impressed with the first time I used it. It didn't really work well for me. It, I thought it made my under eyes look like kind of dry. But then I used it again when I used the foundation the other day. And I think your skin chemistry just changes a little bit because something will work for me one day and then completely not work for me the next day, which is why I'm so grateful that I have such a crazy makeup collection that I can just 
pick from what I need. Um, like I want to be trying this one soon. Um, uh, Lawless woke up like this foundation, but I'm like so stoked on this right now that I'm not even going to go there. But I'm gonna just gonna put a little bit of this under here. When I say a little bit, I mean a lot. This concealer has just worked really well for me. Like it blends out so nicely and effortlessly and just like blends into the foundation even though it is a little bit lighter. And underneath the eye area, and I love that it's like matte. Like see that? It's not like super wet and whatever like it just is really feels great and looks really good like i feel like a lot of concealers are just like really wet seeming until you dry them down or like let them dry or set them and i just like don't like the thought of putting powder on top of something that seems wet then i like to take my little fan and look up and make sure the concealer gets nice and dried should so invest in one of these fans like it's so good for so many different things a little higher. My eyes are drying out. Typically, another concealer would have creased a lot more than that already. So I'm just gonna make sure and look at there, there's like no creasing, like hardly at all. Um, okay, so this next product is brand spanking new too, and I'm going to be using this to set certain parts of my face. I've found with this foundation, I don't need to set my whole face. It's not like wet. So this is the new Huda Beauty Pound Cake. Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. This stuff is awesome. The texture, oh, <laughs> let me just drop it all over the floor. Um, I love that it's got this little net in here. Um, it smells like such a good perfume. I absolutely love the scent. I love how it goes on. It seems to just like set everything without adding like an extra unneeded layer of cake, which is kind of funny that this is called pound cake. Um, and then I do around the nose, around my nose rings, right up over here, down here. And then I kind of just leave the rest of my face. My base is looking like so good right now. Oh my gosh, it's so sweaty and gross on my chair. I'm like sliding around in it. This is so disgusting. Now look under the eyes. There's like hardly any creasing at all. And already by this point, and up here with other concealers and foundations, I would already have creasing in both of those areas. Like there's, I actually gave up on it. I was like, there's no way to stop it. And there's no way to stop mascara transfer. I give up, I, I'm done. I'm done trying, I'm done fighting the good fight, but now you don't have to anymore. So um, I'm gonna show you now the mascara that I like to use. This mascara, I probably shouldn't be using this because it's literally so old. Um, <laughs> and it's so dried out, like it hardly works for me anymore because I've used pretty much everything that's inside of it. But this is the flower, there's like a hair on the edge of my mouth. Ah. This is the Flower Beauty Three Way Brush um, Intensive Eye. Ugh. Um, volumizing mascara. There's no freaking hair. There is a fucking hair on my face and I just keep feeling it move as I'm talking and it's driving me crazy. This mascara not only does build out really nice lashes, but it does not transfer for me. Like it has never transferred onto my skin. I don't know why I stopped using it for a while. And then I was using the Tarte Tardis Pro, which was one of my favorite mascaras. And it just kept transferring. And I was like, you know what? I'm done with this horse shit. So then I switched back to this with this foundation and concealer setting powder combo. And it does not transfer. Like I went out um, the other day when it had been six hours, when I had tried this combination for the first time, it had been six freaking hours, okay? And there was almost no creasing underneath my eye and there was no transfer of my mascara or flaking off, which was kind of crazy. I was just like, how is this possible right now? Before I put this on, I'm gonna quick do a little, um, do, do uh, the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back and I won't touch the under eyes. And while I'm doing the rest of my makeup, We'll show you after and we can see how little to no creasing that there is. Much, much, much later. All right, we're back. The whole face of makeup is on. Took me about 20 minutes and go ahead and look under the eyes. I promise you I did not touch under them at all. I did not touch them up. This is how they look. Any other combo of makeup that I've worn under my eyes would have been creased the F out right now. So still looking absolutely amazing. And I'm gonna put the mascara on now. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check in with you guys in six hours, between six to 10 hours. And I'm gonna show you how everything's holding up and I will not be touching 
any of the makeup, the only thing that I'm gonna be touching up is my lips. Cause the girl's gotta eat. And the fan again. All right, I'm gonna go for about six to 10 hours, check back in with you. I won't be touching anything at all. The only thing I'm gonna be touching up is my lips. Um, and we will see you then. And you can see for yourself why I love this combination of stuff on my face. Six hours later. My timer went off. It has been six whole hours since I filmed and I am still extremely impressed. Underneath my eyes, there is virtually zero creasing. No like mascara has transferred to my like down here and the foundation still looks awesome. And I actually like, it's so crazy. I even went to a like a really hot pet store today, like was moving things, shopping around, just moved a bunch of stuff in my pet room. And I've been actually itching my face a lot and I had an eye irritation earlier and everything is held up like so well. It's like so impressive. I'm just like the under eye area is really just blowing me away, but everything still looks awesome. I haven't touched anything up. I haven't powdered. I haven't anything. I just like touched up my lips before I started filming. Cause I was like, okay, I was allowed to touch up the lips. So I might as well go ahead and do that. And not look completely like they were like wearing it. It was not, it, it wasn't pretty. So yeah, this is my new uh, foundation and base routine. Let me know what you guys think. Are you impre as impressed as I am with like all the products that I used? Let me know if you've used any of them and what you think. We'll chat with you in the comments. Thanks so much for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe and also turn on the bell icon so you get notified when I upload a new video. Um, that's pretty much it. Did I have any other announcements? No. Have an awesome day, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh my gosh, it's seriously like 115 degrees. My filming studio is in my garage and it there is no airflow in here at all. And these lights are very hot. Okay, we're gonna push forward. This is like the perfect condition to film a perfect foundation like tutorial in. Not.